Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. Hope you guys are having a great day. So in this one, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Ethereum and the change from proof of work to proof of stake. Uh, firstly, just want to apologize about the actual video quality. I'm actually recording on my phone because my other camera is uh, actually the battery's on charge. And I just felt sort of um, inspired and so I thought I'd make, actually make this video right here and now. Um, because a lot of people have been um, asking me about it. In fact, one guy just um, emailed me um, just, just literally just now um, asking about the changeover from Ethereum proof of work to proof of stake. So I just want to talk about exactly what that means um, in terms of the actual change and also what it means for you as a miner, what, what options you've got um, going forward. So. Ethereum proof of work to proof of stake. What does it mean? What it means in, and this is my own interpretation of it, I'm no um, expert on these matters, um, but what essentially will happen is, at the moment, Ethereum is mined using a proof of work, which is hard mining. Uh, we're all using our graphics cards and our CPUs to generate the actual blocks on the network and secure the actual transaction. So that is kind of hard labor to protect the network. With proof of stake, what happens is that that hard work is kind of taken out of the actual system and instead it's much smaller amounts of work um, separated across a vast, uh, a much wider network and based on um, people that have uh, Ethereum coins within the actual wallet or individual nodes. So for example, instead of having say a thousand miners doing hard work and protecting the actual network, uh, the system will change over to proof of stake. So you might have say 20,000 people that will be running their wallets or their nodes across the actual network. So that proof of work is changed to proof of stake. So essentially there'll be less miners and more stakers and that kind of achieves the same objectives. So that's how I um, see it. So going forward, what does this mean for you? So if you're actually currently a Ethereum miner and you're using your GPU mining rigs, uh, what you can do is the actual coins that you've uh, currently got uh, mined, you can hold them in your Ethereum wallet and what you'll actually happen uh, from that point onwards is you will receive um, interest payments depending on how many coins you have in your Ethereum wallet and how long you keep your Ethereum wallet or your actual node um, up and running and effectively staking on the actual network. So that will be how you, you will get your new Ethereum re rewards in the future when we change over to proof of stake. So the change to proof of stake is expected to happen around, um, I believe it's going to happen around about February 2017. Might be a little bit sooner or a little bit later, but roughly that should be the kind of the ballpark area that we're sort of expecting, um, at least from everything that I have read. Um, we will obviously get some notice um, ahead of time so we know exactly when it is coming up, but I expect it will be around about February. Um, so what that means is between now and then is uh, probably a great opportunity to mine um, Ethereum as much as you can and make make the most of it. Um, like I say, after that change to proof of stake, you will still be able to acquire Ethereum, but it will be done in a different fashion and it will be based on how many coins you have in your actual wallet itself. So if you're an actual GPU or a CPU miner, um, what are the options for you um, after you sort of, um, after this change to proof of stake, what are the options for you? So there's a couple of different things or different routes that you can take and we won't really know exactly the best option until we get a little bit closer to time. Uh, but a couple of the things that I'm thinking about uh, doing, and obviously as we get closer and closer, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing um, as we move forward. So the first thing is come February, uh, Ethereum moves to proof of stake and GPU mining um, may not be profitable or certainly won't be mineable for Ethereum. So that means that we can sell our GPU hardware. Uh, there will pro probably will be a lot of other people selling their GPU hardware at the same time, which means there'll be lots of hardware going onto the market on eBay and things like that. Um, and that will push the prices of GPU mining hardware uh, down most likely. Um, so that's one option for you, but that's probably not the best option. Um, I don't think that's an option that I'm going to be taking at this moment in time, but that is one option. The second option, and I think it's the option that will, most people will go for, is to look for an alternative coin to mine. So there's lots of other different uh, GPU coins that are mineable, and there's there's so much to choose from. You can really sort of uh, take take your pick of uh, all sorts of different ones for all different reasons. At the moment, um, Zcash is a um, uh, quite hot. Uh, and profitable coin, um, but as we move later on into the year and into next year, I think that's going to become less and less profitable, um, and I think it's going to take quite a while to balance out. So, Zcash is another option, 
I think for me, I'll probably be looking at a sort of third or fourth different um, options in terms of what I can mine. So probably one of those uh, coins that might be worth mining is maybe something like Monero. So it's a coin, it has like um, uh, features that not many other coins have. Um, it's got the uh, anonymity features, uh, same as Zcash and Dash. Um, but the coin is not being sort of um, extensively sort of uh, mined. I think there's still got a lot of future potential in terms of mining it. Um, and then from there, there's lots of other coins that you can mine as well. So I think when the actual Ethereum uh, network does change over to proof of stake, there'll be plenty of other um, coins that are worth mining. Now, some of them might not be as profitable um, as Ethereum. Um, um, and maybe some new ones might even be out by then as well. Who knows really, but um, for the actual uh, investment that I've made in terms of my hardware and um, my running costs, um, I can sort of really afford to mine at, um, or almost any, any coin I want. I mean, in worst case scenario, I, I would could even um, turn my actual graphics cards off and I'll just leave them sitting until something better comes along. Um, I think once you've uh, invested your money into the actual hardware, it's probably better to keep them in most cases um, as you go forward rather than selling them for a, for a loss, especially if everyone else is sort of selling them onto the actual market. So they're the kind of thoughts that I'm having as we move forward into this new area of uh, GPU mining. And I just wanted to sort of share that with you just to sort of let you know uh, exactly what I'm doing, what I'm thinking and how it, I see things as we sort of uh, move forward. So. That's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching and um, I'll see you guys on the next video.